Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I asked you guys on Twitter yesterday, by the time you see this it would have been a couple days ago, but I asked you on Twitter and I usually do it on Twitter or Instagram, so follow both. I mean, you know, if you want to be involved. But I asked you if you'd rather see a Lane Bryant haul or a Torrid haul. And because um, I haven't done either one in a long time, Lane Bryant, I'm not sure that I've ever dedicated a video to them. If you guys are really, really interested in seeing Lane Bryant, I mean, let me know and I will be more than happy to go in store and actually shop and try to find some things. It's just not quite my style overall. Um, but I definitely pick up things from Lane Bryant here and there and they do have some really good items that I, you know, swear by. Like I used to love their bras, uh, some of their panties, definitely some boots and shoes out of there. But if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. But in the poll, Torrid won by a landslide. So I went into Torrid and I bought some stuff and I had also ordered some stuff recently. So you guys, I mean, I've shopped with Torrid for years and years and years and years and years. All my beginning hauls were probably with Torrid because I just loved them so hard, so much. But they have changed their coupons a lot over the years and their policies and the way that they do Hope Cash. Like they've just changed a lot and um, I'm honestly very confused as to who th their freaking consumer is because you go in there and it's a lot of the same stuff every single season, every single year. It's the same, 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 slightly different color or whatever. <laughs> and then you have like a lot of graphic tees and stuff and I'm like, and then you have like all this business stuff and then... I don't know. I mean, they used to be like my number one, but they're not anymore. That being said, there's still some things that I love from them, which I have a pair of these on right now. But these are hands down my absolute favorite underwear ever. If you guys remember, I did a plus size panty video um, probably like a year ago now. And I mentioned these originally there. But uh, my weight's been fluctuating lately. So I decided to get some new panties because some of them were just a little too big. And then some of them were just kind of too tight still. So I don't know. I had to switch it up. So I love these cotton thongs from Torrid. They are my favorite. They have the lace across the top. They have all different kinds of patterns and everything. I did get all of these ones in a size one. I find that a size one and a size two are fitting me the best right now. I had some threes from when I was a little bit um, bigger and they are just, they, they ride all the way up and they end up around my waist. So I had to get some new ones. I did like the five for 35 I think because for just one I believe these ones are the cheaper end for them. $10.90 for one. But uh, these end up being about six or seven bucks basically with the deal which isn't too bad. I did get a ton of Hope Cash so if you guys want to see another tour towel after this let me know because I have literally like $400 in Hope Cash from all of this spending. Um, I don't know what my totals were but I probably spent like three or four hundred dollars um, something like that. Along with the chonies, I also ordered a bra, a few bras actually at the same time, and I am gonna show you the outfit. Okay, so like I said, I have the um, thong on right now. I'm not gonna turn around, you know what a thong looks like. These ones I love just cause they're on the thicker side. They hit me at a beautiful spot here. For me, this is perfect for my underwear. Um, this is where I like to have them. They do eventually start to kind of break up in the lace area which is why I have to keep on repurchasing them. But I love them overall. Like I said, it's it's a thong. I'm not gonna turn around because this video will 100% be demonetized and <laughs> we gotta pay for this somehow, you know? It's not sponsored. But this bra, this is what I'm really excited to show you guys. How friggin' beautiful. They do have some really nice bras there. I mean, I cannot deny it. Makes my boobs look super good. I think I got this one in a 38D and this is a push-up plunge which I love. And what's really cool about this one, I gotta get closer so that you guys don't see my butt. Okay, is that it has all of these um, hook and eyes in the back. I might have did it wrong, I'm not sure. Um, but it's so comfortable, it fits super nicely, and I could definitely see wearing this with um, as a top, basically. So the size that I used to always get from Torrid was 42C. Um, and I have jumped around and I've tried a lot of different sizes and I find that I do not have one specific size at Torrid, which is really irritating um, because right now my all-time favorite bra, the one that works so nicely, fits so well, it's just so smoothing, there's no gapping, is from Victoria's Secret and it's a 38D, which is why I tried this in a 38D and this one fits pretty well. You know, Torrid definitely has, obviously, it's a plus size brand, has extended sizing and they actually do double zero, which I think is like an 810, all the way up to 6X, I think. Um, or six, and um, so they have some pretty good sizing. But I wanted to mention my absolute hands down favorite 
strapless bra ever is this one. And I'm gonna have all this stuff linked down below for you guys. The reason I'm not trying it on is because this one didn't quite fit right. And this again was a 38D. I thought I would have some kind of like, you know, I thought it would work because I have a 40C of this and it's a little big. So I thought 38D might be the next best thing, but not the case. Um, but this is my all time hands down favorite type of strapless bra. I just gotta figure out what my new size is. The other bra that I got is this one. It's again a push up plunge bra. It has some padding in there, but again, this one just ran way too small. I don't even wanna show it to you because my boob is like all the way popped out. And this was a 38D push up plunge. I felt like, I don't know, like I don't know what to expect with their bras, which sucks, but you can go in store, you can get fitted. They always have deals, especially if you get fitted for a bra or try one on, they're all, like they're always pushing their bras. I don't know why. <laughs> they're not like the bomb there, but um, you know, sometimes they work. Like I said, that strapless bra, hands down 100% my favorite bra ever as far as strapless goes. Doesn't fall down, has a really wide strap on it fits beautifully, it's wonderful, it makes my small boobs look like big boobs or regular size boobs. Like, I just, I love it. And people hate sometimes when I say that I have small boobs, that they're just small in comparison to the rest of my body, which is big. <laughs> Back again. So I actually went in store for the rest, uh, just about the rest of what I'm gonna show you. I went in store and I went in store four to five times and walked out with nothing because they either didn't have my size or I just wasn't like, wowed by anything and it wasn't exciting basically and because i know that i'm able to fit into a lot more brands at the mall like a lot of different stores i know that i can um, i'm kind of i'm not in between but i know that i can get into things and have them fit wonderfully from express and american eagle and um, department stores and h&m and a lot of different places so i'm just not gravitating towards toward as much these days just because i feel like i have options um but I know that a lot of you don't have as many options and you need a true plus size store. So I went back in again yesterday and I made sure to buy things. And my experience was super bizarre because um, so many of the sizes are sold out and they tend to only have double zero or four. Double zero or four, double zero or four in like everything. Um, and uh, you'd think they would stock more one twos and threes, but not the case, I guess. So I picked up things that were double zero, one, two, did I do, I don't think I did a three. I can't quite do a three anymore. Um, but I picked this shirt up in a size one. You guys ask me all the time where my flannels are from. And they're from Torrid usually, cause Torrid has the best cut, I feel like, on their like uh, plaid shirts. The arms are nice and loose. There's always space in there. The button placement is perfect. If you guys watch my Old Navy video, you know I'm kind of like, uh, button placement is very important on a shirt like this. <laughs> Their button placement is perfect. It feels really good. The arms are long enough that I can tie it around my butt and my waist and stuff. And you know, when I wanna like have my butt covered when I have leggings or something on. Um, but I just picked this one up because it was a cute color. I don't have it yet. It's blue with pink and white. And I just, I thought it was cute. And this shirt I got in a size one. I have been wearing twos um, pretty much every other year. And I thought I would honestly still need a two because of my arms, but uh, one fits really well. There's no stretch or anything, but that's okay. And there's plenty of room down here, so you don't have this happening. You guys know what I'm talking about? Because this happens to me a lot, where it's loose everywhere and then tight right here, and it looks kind of busted. Um, but really good length, really nice shirt, but it's like 50 bucks. I mean, come on, Torrid, get real. Oh, okay, and then the jeans, one of you guys tweeted me, you were like, Sarah, you gotta go try the premium stretch sky high skinny jeans. And I said, okay. I went on to tour that day and I ordered them. So <laughs> these were 59.17, I must have had a coupon or something. That's a lot for a pair of freaking jeans. So these jeans though, I got them in a size 16. They do fit really nicely. They are their premium jeans, so they're a little bit on the th thicker side, uh, which is nice. And they have distressing, which is not really something I'm used to with Torrid's jeans. Um, I think my butt looks decent in these, you know? I'm not mad at it. And they have that stretchy stuff in the waist, which is like my favorite thing ever. Like it's, a, a, not enough jean companies do that, I feel like, because it takes away the whole gap that might have happened back there. They're a perfect length for me, and I'm 5'4", and they're actually skinny. So I think these jeans all around are a win. And these are an upgrade from the jeggings that I normally buy. So I was a huge fan of Torrid's jeggings, which are normally like, I don't know, like 50, 
bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. I probably bought 12 to 15 pairs of those in the last few years. I stopped buying them this year just because I started venturing out with other jeans. But these remind me of those, except they are a higher quality, so I don't see them um, getting all pilly and basically having my thighs bust out of the center because that's what would happen with the Tora jeggings, which was super annoying when you <laughs> spend so much money on a freaking pair of jeans. But these are actually really, really nice and definitely an upgrade if you like their jeggings. I would suggest trying these out and they run pretty true to size. Um, yeah, I would say they run true to size. I'm a 16, I bought them a 16, they fit great. All right guys, so this looks like shirt, actually, now that I'm showing it to you. Um, it's actually a nightgown, I just left the jeans on. But I guess it could be a shirt, like a long shirt, if you wanted it to be. I love their little nightgowns, I sleep in them all the time, and I've had them for years and years. They last through the years, I mean, they look a little busted, I wouldn't like wear them out of the house or anything, but, but I guess you don't wear most nightgowns out of the house anyway but um i paid 27 bucks for it they're just they're cute i thought i would just show you uh Tori does have some pretty cute little nighttime stuff pjs and whatnot i'm a fan so this little hoodie thing i got in a size one they had it in green and i really wanted the green one but they only had like twos and threes and fours i think of that and i just i didn't want it to be so oversized that it felt sloppy so this was like a good spot for me so like i said i got it in a size one it has a little pocket on it it's super soft like not i wouldn't even call it oversized it's just a loose kind of fit is that the same thing are those basically synonyms <laughs> but um it goes down nice and long in the back so if you wanted to wear leggings or something you could probably cover your butt up pretty well that's actually how i envisioned wearing it most likely with leggings Maybe with jeans, it looks cute with jeans. And it does have a hat, which is nice. And it's pretty big and oversized, so if you got a big dome like me, it'll cover your head just fine. This again was like $49 or something. Tours prices are ridiculous. I use the 15 off of every 50 that you spend. So I ended up getting like 60, I'm not even gonna try to guess. But I mean, I saved some money, but still their prices are crazy. Okay, this thing I almost didn't buy because I was already checking out. It was actually like done. She'd already given me my total and then I looked at it and they had put a belt around it on a model, right? So they had the belt right here, just in the front half. And I was like, oh, you know what? That's cute, I like that. And I've had a few things like this in the past, um, but I don't have any for this year, basically. The only one I have is this black one with like a faux fur lining around the neck, like the collar, and it's really cute and everything, but I wanted something that wasn't so over the top. Fur is a little too glam for me, like on a regular day, but this isn't. This is just really comfortable. I could see wearing it with like a turtleneck or just like a Henley or um, a thermal or something, you know, when I kind of need a jacket, but I kind of don't, like today. It's 58, like, this is a good day to wear something like this. And it looks really cute with boots. So it's it's one size fits all, obviously. It's basically just a blanket. This is the kind of thing I need to keep in the car because I freeze to death whenever we go to the friggin' movies. And I just, I need something like this. Something to just kind of wrap up and be comfortable in. And I want to say that this was also severely overpriced. But <laughs> that's the theme here. $49.90 again, yeah. So if you have a coupon, I mean, it's not that bad. But... If you don't, they most likely have buy one get one half off going on in the store. And they do really well with their clearance. They do buy one get two free on their clearance. I don't know why they can't make their regular sales that good. But whatever, shop the clearance. I mean, because they usually have a pretty extensive selection in the clearance. But anyway, I thought this was cute. Okay, so this top I got in a two because that was the smallest size that they had. I definitely need a one or even a zero. It hangs a bit in the back, um, but the straps are adjustable and I feel like I can make it work for what I like, you know, how I want to wear it basically. Um, because it is just like an empire. <laughs> it's an empire waist and it just kind of floats out. You know, it's really, it's a very simple top. Um, but I got it because it has like these flowers, but it has like these yellowy and kind of orange burnt kind of colors in there. And this sweater, just this sweater, there was only one. It was this one. This one was sitting right there next to this shirt. So I felt like they went together. So I got the top and a zero. No, I got the top and a two. And I got this freaking cardigan in a double zero, which double zero, I am not. The shirt is about 40. The cardigan's about 50. Um, again get a coupon or something because that's ridiculous for this thin little thing and i had gone from old navy to torrid and they had cardigans like this for like 18 bucks or something at old navy so 
I mean, there are definitely options. But how cute are we? Like, how cute is this outfit? Maybe with like brown riding boots or, um, I don't know. I mean, it's, just, it's so cute. And the cardigan itself goes down pretty far, which I love. I'm really coming around to this mustardy kind of color, like yellows and oranges. I'm really embracing them this fall. They're so nice. I like how they look with my hair and my makeup. My makeup's a little busted today, but I like how it normally looks kind of with the darker features in this area of me. <laughs> so I think it goes really well. And I think this actually looks pretty good together. And even if I wanted to button it, which I could, I don't think I would, but I could. I just wanna show you how long it is and how it looks. Like I said, it's a double zero and I am <laughs> not a double zero. Double zero is 810 and I'm definitely a 16. So typically I buy a one. Um, if I'm really trying to stretch into something, I can get a zero, but clearly even double zero will work. It's so cute. Isn't this a cute outfit? This like screams fall and look at me. I'm going to go to the school and be the parent chaperone kind of thing. Like this feels very appropriate for many different occasions. Okay. So like I said, I'm really gravitating towards the yellows, the like the deeper kind of oranges and reds and burgundies and stuff. Well, I'm always on burgundies and mauves. That's like kind of my thing. But um, this I saw it and I wasn't sure because I don't wear a lot of this style. This used to be kind of my go-to, especially when I was a little more insecure about my body. This was comfortable for me, something that was kind of tight up here and then allowed me some breathing room basically in my stomach, but thighs like this, well not thighs, but hips, you know, it, it just kind of let me feel like I wasn't gonna be uncomfortable when I sat down or whatever. And I just always felt like it was pretty flattering on me. Um, I wear it a little bit less now just cause I have branched out and decided that, you know, it's okay to show my stomach having a line here like whatever i just don't care as much these days but i thought it was so pretty now <laughs> the tricky part this one actually had every single size i saw double zero to four i'm thinking maybe they don't carry five and six in store or maybe they do i'm sure you guys could let me know um we didn't have those sizes back in the day when i worked there so <laughs> i have no idea but um this shirt is you know it's just like a full coverage long kind of shirt covers the whole butt once again really great for leggings and if i haven't mentioned it before torrid is my favorite place to get leggings to this day i love their premium leggings they're about 20 bucks i still buy them in a size two because it lets me have a little bit of breathing room so they don't stretch quite as much like across my butt and you can definitely still see through them um, but if you go up a size then you can see through them a little bit less i mean otherwise just cover your butt i guess if that's what you're interested in doing but this shirt is a double zero because it runs so, so, so big. The material is kind of heavy. It does have these buttons going from the top to the bottom. I'm not sure if you can actually see that on camera. And the buttons are actually functional. So you can open it up, get a little more cleave if you want, do whatever, you know, feels right to you. But it's very, very, very oversized, like very oversized. And you can see the, um, I am kind of stretching it across my bust here. So you can definitely see the uh, polka dots from <laughs> that bra that I still have on. Um, but overall, like what a cute shirt, right? And it's just fall vibes, fall vibes, hardcore fall vibes. I would wear this with like a neutral colored cardigan, something oversized. I have a few, um, and I saw a few at Torrid, but they're so expensive. <laughs> I couldn't even bring myself to buy them, but um, oh, I have one more thing and it's my favorite thing. It's so exciting, very untorrid of them, I feel like. These are like my new favorite thing ever. Look at these freaking pants. They fit me perfectly. I think I mentioned I'm 5'4". Um, so they come down right to the ground. Like I couldn't have had these tailored better than where they're at right now. And I got these in a size one. So they have like this, you know, kind of maroon. Is it maroon? Is it burgundy? I don't know, but it's kind of like a a browner version and it has this cute little belt up here. It is, I guess, a functional belt. You can move it and tie it and whatnot. And then the front, the whole top is elastic. So it's all stretchy. And then in the back, it has like the scrunched up kind of stretchiness to it. I think it looks amazing. Like it comes to the perfect place. Obviously I wouldn't wear it with this bra, but I would wear it with a bodysuit. And still to this day, somehow, I mean, does Torrid still not sell bodysuits? Like, what are they doing? I have never found a bodysuit there. I went to the Torrid headquarters in California once, and I was like, 
why don't you sell body suits? They said, oh, we were, you know, yeah. And I was like, why don't you sell crop tops? Why don't you sell, why don't you sell these things that everyone sells? Why don't you sell them? Because people would buy them. And they were like, we might. That was like two or three years ago. So I don't think they did, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, but I would wear it with like a bodysuit and tuck it in. And how cute would this be? This is just one that I grabbed out of the washer a second ago, or the dryer rather. This is from American Eagle. They have the best bodysuits ever in the whole entire world, ever. But that wraps up my haul. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you do wanna see anything else from Tord, you can let me know. I know I didn't dive too deep into the denim or like the suits or, there were a lot of things that I would have loved to pick up, but like I said, they just didn't have my size in store. So I can do a haul with all the Hope Cash. Um, I can do a haul with all of that and probably order stuff, stuff that everyone can kind of get their hands on too. Um, but you just let me know. If you wanna see more Tord, let me know. If you wanna see Lane Bryant, let me know. Just tell me in the comments. Um, but I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And that's all I got. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.